What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can port forward the new Call of Duty Cold War beta so that you can open your NAT from closed, strict, or limited. By doing this, you should be able to connect to more parties around the world, find games easier, and if you're having troubles joining your friends or your friends joining you, this should help fix it. So there's two parts to this video. Number one, port forwarding, and number two, opening your firewall on your PC. Of course, if you're using an Xbox or a PlayStation, then things should be a lot easier, but I won't be demonstrating those in this video now. I'll show you how to port forward for your PC, and of course, if you're gonna be doing this on a console, use the different ports from the description down below. I'll make sure to keep these up to date. So, port forwarding. Of course, because every router is incredibly different, I'll be showing you a very general tutorial. This, of course, is just a front-end website that looks something similar to what yours will look like. I already have this Minecraft server port forwarded over here to my computer. So to begin, first of all, you'll need the IP address of the device you're port forwarding to. In my case, my Windows PC. I'll simply hold down start, press R, type in CMD, and hit enter. Then when this new window opens up, I'll type in IP config, find how I'm connected to the internet, which is currently an Ethernet cable, and look for the IPv4 address, 192.168.1.20. That's the address of my computer on my router that goes straight to the internet. So on my router's control panel, I'll simply locate the port forwarding section somewhere under say security, for example, and you'll get to this similar screen over here. For the external port, all we have to do is have a look in the description down below for the list of ports that we'll need to port forward. This will be different depending on what device you're currently using. In the description, you'll see something along the lines of this. Simply look for your device, be it PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, or Xbox Series X or S. Then locate the TCP and UDP ports. These are the ports that we need to port forward. Note that some of them are shared, i.e. 3074 is both TCP and UDP. So external port, I'll enter 3074, and if you're asked to enter it twice, simply enter it twice. If we have a look at the list, this is the only one low down here. Internal port will be the same, so that this port from the outside goes to this one on the inside of our network. Protocol, because this appears on both the TCP and UDP list, I'll make sure to select both of them if available. Otherwise, choose one, add it, and then choose the other, add it as well. I'll choose the combined one. Then, local IP will remember our device's IP that we just found from a command prompt. Mine was 192.168.1.20. Because it's only asking for the last bit, I'll enter 20. Then clicking add new, we'll go ahead and add the rest of these ports here. So next up, we'll add 3478, and this one only appears on the UDP section. So UDP, add new. Then 4379 to 4380, I'll enter both of these as such. So 4379 to 4380 are port forwarded to our computer, 1.20, and UDP only. Add. Then you'll notice that these last ones seem to be shared. 2700 to 27031, 27036, 27014, 27050. All we have to do here is simply port forward these ones individually. So this range, this range, and then this one, or we can simply just port forward all of them from 27,000 to 27,050. I'll do exactly that. This way we're port forwarding not only TCP, this range over here, but these ones over here as well. So 27,000 to 27,050, both TCP and UDP to my computer over here. Of course, you can enter them all individually and you'll end up with something that looks like this. But of course, doing this over here will take a bit longer. Either way, once we've done this in our router settings, all we have to do is make sure that these ports are allowed through our firewall. If you're using an antivirus firewall, make sure to look up a guide on your specific antivirus. I'll show you how to do it in the Windows firewall, assuming you don't have an antivirus firewall or another firewall software running. Simply press start, type in firewall, and open up Windows Defender firewall with advanced security. So we'll simply head into inbound rules and click new rule. Then we'll enter port, next, and then we'll see this over here, TCP, specific local ports. We'll have a look at the list, and we'll copy the entire TCP list over here, 3074, 27014 to 27050. Paste that into here, as you can have more than one in a single rule. I'll click next, allow, next, all three checked, next, and we'll name it COD, B-O, Cold War, something like that. Of course, the name doesn't matter. Finish. Then we'll add a new rule once again. Port, next, UDP, and then specific local ports. We'll copy this list over here. Next, allow, next, all three, next, COD, BO, CW, or anything else. Finish. Now that we're done adding the inbound rules, we'll rinse and repeat for outbound rules in the top left. New rule, 
port. Next, and we'll go ahead and enter the TCP list. So TCP specific, paste, next, allow, next, or three, next, cod, bo, cw, finish. Now for the final one, we need to add the UDP numbers. So new rule, port, next, UDP, paste, next, allow, all three, next, cod, bo, cw, and finish. Now we're done allowing it through our firewall. All we have to do is launch up the game and things should be working as expected. And once we've launched up the game, simply heading across to the settings, then account and network section, you'll see NAT type open. If you see this, then congratulations, you've successfully opened your NAT and port forwarded as expected. And that's about it for this tutorial. Now you can happily play the game with an open NAT, enjoy lower ping and the heightened ability to join more lobbies easier. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.